Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been so excited to share today's video with you because today I am going to be going through my entire secondhand collection of clothing and shoes. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of secondhand shopping. I kind of have this secondhand first principle that I work around. So whenever I have to add something new to my wardrobe, I always check up on my secondhand options first. So I do have a guide on how to get started with secondhand shopping because I know to some people it can be so overwhelming. We also have this misunderstanding that secondhand equals outdated clothes. And it seriously doesn't have to be like that at all. And that is what I am here to prove to you. So like I said, I have a guide on that, both a video guide, but I also have a written recap. So a blog post on my blog on how to get started with secondhand shopping. So I have five tips. And then of course there are also some tips on how to care for these things that you find secondhand. They sometimes need a little bit of extra love to make them look and feel as new and also just to make them feel like your own and not someone else's worn out clothes. <laughs> so I'm going to link both the blog post and the video guide down below for you so you can go check them out after watching this video and get started yourself. I'm actually doing this without a written script today, so I'm just speaking right from the heart, which is kind of new to me, but I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> so one of the things I try to do on my social platforms and the way I like to look at joining style and sustainability is that we are all different. We all use fashion different ways to express ourselves. And for me personally, I like this very Scandinavian style. I have a very minimal closet. I, I'd like to think so myself. Some people have even less than I have. You might have even more. And some people like frequent replacements and to play around with fashion and look at fashion and use fashion as a way of experimenting with your own personality. And I think that's great. You know, you should do whatever feels right for you. And that is where I feel like secondhand fashion is really a great way to go if you're one of those people who like these frequent replacements because let's be honest, it's not very good for the environment and turning to the high street brand seems like the most obvious way to satisfy your inner fashionista because they have new trends coming every week. But really, I think that we should normalize secondhand fashion because there are so many awesome pieces out there and like I've said a thousand times, Trends go round and round, and many of the trends we see today are actually to, to be found in vintage and secondhand shops, both physically and online. So I highly believe that no matter what style you have, going for secondhand options is something everyone can do. It's a great way to do the environment a favor. It's a great way to keep your inner fashionista satisfied, and it's also a great way to save some money. And um, yeah, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. But like I said, I do have a guide on how to be successful with secondhand shopping because of course you can make mistakes and you can bring home something that you'll end up not wearing just as when you buy something from a conventional brand. So there are some things that you need to be aware of and um, yes. So I think that's all I wanted to say about that. So without any further ado, let's have a look at my secondhand collection. So to make this video as structured as possible, I'm going to go through uh, the different product categories that I have here in my rack. I have a bunch of shoes down here as well that you can see. And uh, I am gonna go straight in and start with coats and jackets. So I am gonna start with the jacket that I have right here. This is a raincoat. I bought this last autumn. You might remember it from my how to dress practical but chic video guide. Um, this is from a brand called Treton. And I'm, yeah, okay, it says right here that it's made in Sweden. I was just about to say, I don't know if it's Swedish or Danish, but apparently it's Swedish. It has all the right amount of detailing to make it kind of cool as well as being practical. And it has these storm cuffs by uh, the sleeves so the wind won't get in through the sleeves and make you cold. So uh, yeah, just a really great jacket. I bought this on the Danish secondhand web shop called Trend Sales. That's where I like to buy most of my secondhand pieces, but I am gonna link all of my favorites down below. Um, I think the closest alternative to Trend Sales is Depop. Um, I think this coat is a great example that you can buy almost anything in secondhand versions. Um, if you just 
spend a little extra time looking for it. I wouldn't go as far as to buy underwear secondhand though. That's kind of where my limit is. Um, Moving on to the next coat. You guys might remember this. This was one of my absolute favorite coats from my autumn and winter capsule. I've actually still been using it a bit on off here during spring because as you know, spring has been kind of late. I actually bought this coat last summer when it was kind of the end of the summer and I, was starting, I had started to prep for my autumn capsule. And I think that this is one of the items that, it's from Another Stories by the way, I think this is one of the items that they have brought out a couple seasons in a row because it's just been selling really well or they've kind of had it in a basic range. It's just beautiful, the most beautiful camel color, it fits my very basic monochrome and Scandinavian style really well and I love the fact that it's so long because it's just such a snuggly piece. So this was a great find. So the next jacket is this one and you guys probably recognize it because it's also from my winter capsule. I found this on ASOS Marketplace. So it is vintage and I don't even know what brand it's from. I just know that it has this label in here that says that it's made from lamb school and cashmere. So this just shows that going for something vintage is also a great opportunity to get something in a quality that they just don't make as great today. <laughs> as you know, Czech blazers have been on trend for such a long time and they still are. So this is a great example that trends go round and round and you can actually find vintage pieces that you can use today and then they'll be super on trend. So if you're one of those people who like to follow trends, um, this is another way of proving that secondhand is a great way to go. So moving on. This is a recent purchase. I bought this when I was in London a couple of months ago. Um, you might remember it from my vintage shopping vlog that I uploaded here on my channel. If not, I'm gonna link that one down below. I kind of took you guys vintage shopping with me um, and showed you how I was prepared from home and everything. Um, so I, I was actually looking for a beige biker jacket of some sort. And I ended up finding this one in the Brick Lane Vintage Market, which I can highly recommend. It was like vintage heaven. So it's not real leather, but I just liked it straight away and I've been enjoying styling it already. It's a great alternative to my black biker jacket. Um, it's a great spring piece as well and I've just been loving this already. So this was also a great find. So. Going on to another leather jacket. This one is real leather. And uh, this is actually one of the oldest items I have in my wardrobe. I think this is around six to seven years old and it is from H&M. I think it's a part of their premium collection. You know, they make these premium products sometimes. So like I said, it's made in real leather and I just, I love this jacket. <laughs> Um, you've seen it countless times on my channel, on my blog, and my Instagram, everything. And uh, it's just such a wonderful piece. It's really soft and it just looks better and better. Yeah, this is probably one of the best secondhand purchases I have ever made. Um, also, just a few words about going for eco-friendly leather. Of course, there's the option of going for fake leather like this one. But if you prefer real leather like this one, going for the... Um, recycled materials or secondhand items is a great way to go because leather is so harsh on our environment. There's also a brand called Peliche Coco, I'm not sure if I <laughs> pronounced that right, um, but they make leather jackets from like old sofas and things like that, which I think is so cool. All right, now moving on to tops. I have a couple of knitted jumpers here that I think I'm going to go through first. This one is a basic roll neck jumper that I found in a local secondhand shop when we lived in Aarhus a couple of years ago. So again, we're dealing with a no-name brand, but it's just been wearing really well. And I actually think this is an old menswear turtleneck, but it's really cool. I usually bring it out for my winter capsules. So yeah, just great basic piece, which shows that you could also find great basic items in secondhand versions. That leads me to the next jumper. This one is actually from Banana Republic and I got this jumper from a girl called Anita Van Dyke. She sent it to me all the way from San Francisco and she has a very inspiring blog and Instagram about zero waste. So I'd highly recommend you to check her out. I'm gonna link her info down below if you want to 
to check her out. But uh, yeah, she found this in a local secondhand shop and sent it off to me. It's made from merino wool, alpaca, and then just a slightly bit of nylon. So it's a great quality and I really like this jumper. Again, a very great basic piece. So let's move on to jersey tops. I have two right here. Oh. And I actually left an empty hanger here because I need, needed to remember this one that I'm wearing right now. So maybe I should just take that one first. This one is a t-shirt. This is another piece that I bought in London. I bought this one in a shop called Rocket Vintage. They have several shops in London and they also have an Instagram account if you want to go check them out. And it says Mariners <laughs> and I have absolutely no connection to this at all, but I just picked it out because I liked the colors and it was something that I was looking for to create this exact look that I'm wearing right now because let's be honest this is very Anina Bing inspired and that is kind of what I was going for. So yeah that was my thought process when I picked out this t-shirt. I think it's super cool. I like the red and I like this kind of distressed print. Then I have these two striped tops. You guys know that I love my stripes. It is from a brand called Nogo Postrel, which probably sounds like a weird bunch of sounds in your ears if you're not Danish. But basically it's a brand that makes these iconic striped tops. Um, and I just really liked this red version to get some more color into my wardrobe. Then I have this Comme des Gassons striped top as well. Um, this is just such a classic piece. I like this red little detail right here and um, yeah as much as I like to choose style over labels in general I think that there are just some pieces that are just so iconic that it's worth holding on to if you know what I mean so I kind of bend those rules sometimes if I feel like it's a very classic iconic item. So moving on to blouses. Oh oops I forgot to iron this one so we have a very creased situation going on here I hope You'll bear with me. I'm just gonna hide it a bit with this one. This is one that I bought in a local um, secondhand shop right down the city actually. Um, I fell in love with it because of this crochet detailing right here. I just thought it was super cute and it's just a 100% cotton shirt so it's great for summer, great for pairing with like denim skirts and denim shorts. Something that is a bit more rugged and um, effortless I guess so that it won't look um, too old-fashioned because it is kind of an old-fashioned piece but that's one of my best styling tips is to give it some contrast with something that's a bit more contemporary and edgy somehow and that's the same case with this one I bought this one on ASOS marketplace from a shop called Dirty Disco Vintage they have a lot of great pieces if you want to check them out this is 100% silk and it is just the most beautiful shirt <laughs> every time I wear this shirt people are so curious to where it's from and where they can buy it but it's a very unique piece because there was only this one. Um, I'm actually considering bringing this into my summer capsule because I think it would look cool together with like I said denim shorts, denim skirts and maybe even a pair of light wash denim dungarees. I'm all about that mixing these elements. Then I have another shirt right here. This one is also found on ASOS Marketplace and it kind of has the same vibe that like the silk one right here. Um, you have the same option of going for a high neck like this or leaving it open like this for a more effortless look. I actually purchased this shirt for my occasion wear capsule to kind of amp it up for the Christmas season and I wore it to a couple of Christmas parties and things like that and I think I'm gonna bring it out from storage again once Christmas comes around this year as well. So this dress is from the Danish brand Gany and I wore this all the time when we were in uh, the United States last spring and we were in Las Vegas and I just lived in this dress basically. So it's such a great summer piece, I bring it out every summer, it's just made in this really lovely 100% cotton quality quite heavyweight actually and um, you can actually still get this one from new it is called I think it's called the old spice dress or something they also make it in a top version uh, skirts I have this pleated skirt from ASOS marketplace again um, if you haven't noticed already that is one of my favorite places to shop for secondhand items online at least I featured this in one of my recent videos in the one called how to dress smart for special occasions. 
So I styled this in various ways in case you want to check out that video. It's just made in a very great woolen quality. And even though it is a bit outdated, I feel like this is one of those pieces that are still very timeless. I could even hem it so that it um, got a bit shorter and a bit more modern in that way because sometimes when the when skirts cut just below the knee it's not the most flattering fit i know i really like it but for some people that's a bit too old-fashioned then i have my leather skirt this is part of my all-year basic wardrobe i don't wear it very much i wear it quite a lot during summer actually and also during spring when the temperatures are around 20 degrees because sometimes wearing a leather skirt when it's really hot outside it's just not a great situation. <laughs> so I actually wear this most when the temperatures are just around 20 degrees. And since I'm not very much of a dress girl or a skirt kind of girl, then this is a great compromise because it has that edgy vibe since it is made in leather. I bought this skirt in a secondhand shop in Amsterdam a couple of years ago. Um, it is, oh, what is that secondhand shop called? Episode. So Episode is a really great um, secondhand chain to go for as well. They are placed several different places around the world. So here I have a pair of vintage Levi shorts. These are also from ASOS Marketplace. And ASOS Marketplace are one of the greatest places to find vintage Levi's in general, both when we're talking skirts, um, jeans, dungarees and denim jackets they have so much from Levi's and uh, yeah you just get that really impeccable quality that non-stretchy 100% cotton thick denim quality so these are just great for summertime I love these shorts first pair of vintage Levi's jeans I have here on the rack and these are also a bit creased because they have just been in the wash these are also bought on ASOS marketplace and I've mentioned these countless times in here already. I even have a video on how to alter them to fit you because sometimes the fit can be kind of outdated, especially if you um, buy a pair of vintage Levi's jeans that haven't already been redone. Many vintage shops and also brands like Reformation or no, not Reformation, uh, Redone, take these old vintage Levi's jeans and remake them so that they have a more contemporary and modern fit. But you can actually do this yourself if you have a sewing machine and just a few sewing skills so I do have a guide on how to do that if you want to know more because the redone jeans can be just a bit pricey and um, yeah you get these to one third of that price if you have the guts to do the project yourself so that's something to think about so moving on to the next pair of jeans these are also vintage Levi's and I found them in Rocket Vintage the same place that I found this t-shirt um, these are redone by the shop, so they are made into a more contemporary, more modern kind of kick flare jean. Um, and I was looking for a pair of dark wash Levi's jeans for my spring capsule, so I think these, was, these were a great find because they're kind of cropped and just great for summer. So before I forget, let's just move on to accessories before moving on to the shoes. So this is a vintage bag that I found in a local vintage shop in a city near me. Originally it came with like this little strap right here, so you carry it around like this, which I think is kind of old fashioned. So I cut off that strap and then I bought this golden chain that I have right here. This is from a concept called Noir Desire. I also use it a lot on my Mark by Mark Jacobs bag, especially if I'm going out. So that's a great way to revamp an old bag. Let's move on to the shoes. I think I'm going to start with my trusty Acne Alma boots because these are like my H&M leather jacket, one of the oldest items I have in my wardrobe, besides my Converse shoes, actually. They are around eight years old. Anyway, these I bought six or seven years ago and um, bought them on trend sales as well. They don't make this style anymore as far as I can recall. This is like I said the Alma boot and uh, they're made in this distressed kind of suede, this brushed suede so they're meant to look kind of distressed which I think is awesome because they're, I've worn them so much but you can't really tell because they're meant to look a bit worn out. I love these shoes so much and I'm gonna wear them until they fall completely apart. 
So these were definitely a great purchase. And I just think they look so sleek, elegant and really unique still. And I love this kind of um, Rococo inspired design. I think Acne should bring back this boot. Then moving on to another pair of Acne Studio boots. These are my Jensen boots that I bought two years ago, I think. I wear these every single week, several times during the week. I wear them both day and night. It's a great boot, they're kind of pricey and they did take a lot of time to break in, I feel like. These are in a size 38 and I'm a normal size 38. Uh, I think I could probably have gone up in a 39. They fit like a dream now, but it has taken quite some effort to break them in. So that's something to think about if you're dreaming about this boot. Otherwise, Everlane has made a great dupe for this boot, which I will link down below. Um, and like the other Acne Studios boots, Westier Collective has a great selection of these in many different colors and also in suede if that's more your thing. So moving on to another pair of boots that are also part of my All Your Basic Wardrobe uh, along with the other two pairs that I've just shown you. Um, these were a recent purchase, you might remember them from my London Packing Guide video. I bought these a couple of weeks before we were going to London because I realized that I was all winter I had been missing a boot that didn't have like a heel and that were just as comfortable as a pair of sneakers but just more practical in terms of snow and water and things like that. And these have just shown to be the perfect purchase. I mean I walked for like 20 kilometers every single day for the four days we were in London and I didn't get a single blister. They are a bit more clumsy, not as sleek as for example my Acne Studios boots. Um, so a bit less dressy in that way, but they're just a lot more practical and I think they're still very cool for like an everyday casual kind of look. So moving on to the last pair of boots I want to show you. These are another pair of practical boots, so these are not part of my actual capsule wardrobe because I only use these when I go walk the dog and it's been raining or something like that. Um, that's also why they are a bit dirty right now because I had them on this weekend when we went to the beach with our dog. But yeah, like I said, with the raincoat, going for secondhand options when it comes to practical wear like raincoats and wellies and things like that, that's a great sustainable way of consuming those items. Again, like the raincoat, have a lot of great detailing, which I think is something that you could definitely go for if you want something practical but also a bit chic. Finally, I have two pairs of stilettos I want to share with you. The first pair I want to show you are these very classic pointed pumps. I found these on ASOS Marketplace and um, these are part of my occasion wear capsule, but I am kind of trying to use them on a daily basis as well here during spring. I haven't really succeeded yet because spring has only just arrived. Um, but I definitely want to, to wear them on a daily basis with, you know, really casual, like a pair of... Basically what I'm wearing today actually would be very cool. <laughs> so the last item I want to show you are these vintage pumps that I bought in a secondhand shop in Aarhus a couple of months ago. And as soon as I saw these, I just knew I had to try them on and they just fit like a dream. They are a bit higher than some of my other heels, but they are still super comfy and there's something really Chanel about this cut, I think. They do look kind of worn out, so they need some TLC very soon, but um, I really love these. Haven't had a real chance to wear them yet, but for the next special occasion coming, I will definitely be wearing these. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you found it inspiring and that it gave you some things to think about, especially if you're one of those people, like I said in the beginning, who are definitely a lot more experimental and who likes these frequent replacements in your wardrobe. But also if you are like me, if you like a very minimal and sleek closet, if you have this very basic Scandinavian style, secondhand fashion is definitely also for you. So really secondhand fashion is for everyone and that's what I'm here to prove to you. So don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for daily outfit updates. That's where I show you how I style all of my capsule wardrobes and also all of the items that I've shown you here today. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe before you leave, and then I will see you all in my video on Wednesday. Bye guys.